Hey guys, my name is Sam. Welcome back to Green Acre Homestead. We're in the middle of a budget mobile home renovation and today we are taking a couple of steps backwards. We have to go back and redo some work that we did in the past. It's not fun, but we gotta get it done. To get started today, I've gotta clean off this appliance countertop station thing that we built. And it kinda got me thinking, what appliances do you have in your kitchen or your home that you can't live without? Historically, we're not very big on appliances, like gadgets and stuff like that, but we did get the Magic Bullet a couple of weeks ago, and I actually also bought another one that should be here tomorrow. I'll save that one. It's not a new gadget at all. We're actually probably pretty late to the kitchen gadget game arena, but I did some research and first saw it from another YouTube channel, and I thought, wow, that looks pretty cool. So stay tuned for that one. What appliances do you have in your kitchen that you love, can't live without, and you always tell your friends and family about? Leave us a comment below and tell us. I love to read it and we'd love to hear it. Whenever we painted the kitchen, we had to take this countertop off and I didn't attach it yet. I'm telling you a lie. I guess Angela attached it. All right, well that's attached. That totally changes the whole situation of the thing. Well, as you can see, I got the floor tore up, got the insulation tore up, and I'm looking at these pipes. That's what the problem is. When I did all the plumbing pecs work of the house and everything, I ended up messing up big time, but it's not unfixable. What I did was pretty simple. It was an easy mistake that anyone could make and was one that I thought I was being really careful about not making, but I still made it. I crossed the hot and cold lines. So everything from this point forward, hot is cold and cold is hot. My goal is to pry off the crimp rings from the PEX pipes where I attach them to the gray pipe and re-crimp them on the right side. Hopefully this goes easily and is not going to be too big of a pain. Let's go ahead and hop in. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and turn the water off to the house before I go cutting into the main water lines. Wouldn't you think? Welcome to the well house. So I've got a quick disconnect or a service disconnect right here. Easy as done. So now the water won't kick on or the well won't kick on. And to go ahead and drain it, I've got a sediment filter right here and I'll just open it and it'll put the water outside. just old guys tractor getting towed behind a truck and backfiring like crazy all right I'm back in the kitchen I picked up one of these little plastic pans while I was outside I'm gonna use that to catch all the water in as much as I can it's time to go ahead and get down here get on the belly use some vice grips and see how easy these crimps are to get off
So once the top little crimp part has been broken, it relieves a lot of the stress, you're able to twist it and turn it and get it off a lot easier. This is the best way I've found to remove these without damaging your couplers, your pipe, and everything else. There we go. One last twist and that's off. See it here? Put that out of the way. And then the rest of this clamp just kind of unwinds from the, or unwraps from the pipe. Just like that. That's not gonna come off. I gotta cut that. I'm not so sure that I have enough of this gray pipe to pull it through and be able to attach to this red. So I think I'm gonna have to add a coupler in this section. As much as I don't wanna add another piece, another point of possible failure, I am pulling on this gray pipe and it's not budging. So I didn't give myself any extra with that. So let's climb up again, let's get a coupler and some more clamps and get back down to the floor. All right. Three quarter inch coupler, three quarter inch clamps. All right. So now what I'll do is I'll cut this where it's pretty much close to the red one so I know that I can kind of move and connect them a little easier. All right, before I forget, this clamp's going over there. This one's going here. And the coupler is going there. These bad boys. So the way these crimpers work is you put them in the end of the put the clamp in the end of the jaw and you start pushing it and it'll start ratcheting. Alright. Once it starts to ratchet, it holds it in place. It won't back up or loosen until you go all the way. And then right here it pops loose and lets you take a crimper off. A way of letting you not under crimp things. There we go. One done. And we'll do this one. Go ahead and connect. Oop, almost forgot. Put a ring on it. go here's a look at the top of the tool here and where these little nubs fit in here and then you're able to squeeze and crimp it that's how that works one two three squeeze Whew, gosh it's really hard to do there that's proper. So, one last ring on the cold line. And let's see if I can get these kind of twisted over. There we go. Now they're separated better. Gotta keep them separated. All right. Ready? Looking good. You all right? You okay? There. Looks 
good. Looks good. Looks good. This little insulation piece still looking good. Put this under here to keep these pipe connections from rubbing each other and creating a hole. All right, this all looks fine. Let's go back out to the well house and turn the water on. Success, no leaks. Awesome, woohoo. Now it's time to put this floor back together. my wake here look at what I did in the kitchen absolutely nothing oh yeah <laughs> that's one of those jobs it doesn't feel good to do but it feels good to have it done hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys enjoyed this hand I don't know what it is I don't know what to do with it so I'll put it down if you're not a subscriber yet consider joining us if you like this kind of content there's that hand again there's a button below. It doesn't cost you anything. All it does is keep you up to date with the videos and content we produce and let you know when something new pops up. Like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, you know. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time on The Homestead. Bye.